Okay, so we're going to take a look at word problems with uh, adding, subtracting rational numbers. That means any number that can be made into a fraction. And each one of these numbers we can make into a fraction if we wanted to. So it's fair game. All right, so Gary bought two pounds of nails for a project. He already had 0 0.75 pounds of nails. And if he uses 1.25 pounds of nails, how many pounds of nails does he have left? Always like to write it out. So um, here we go. He bought two pounds already had uh, 0 0.75 pounds, and he used 1 and 2 fifths, okay? So let me kind of squeeze this into here, here so we can see it a little better. And the question is, how many does he have left after all of this? So we've, we've stripped the information from the problem, and from here, um, it's going to look like a scratch sheet to see if we can figure it out. Well, he bought two pounds, and he already had this, so we should add these two together. So that way we know how many uh, nails that he had. And then he used, well, that means that we're going to be subtracting this amount from how many nails that he had. And then hopefully it will give us the answer of how many was left over. So um, the first thing is, is what's 2 plus 0.75? It would be 2.75. And then we need to subtract 1 and 2 fifths. If we have the number of nails that he um, purchased and already had, and we take away the number of nails that he used, it'll show how many he's got left over. The issue, though, is that this is a decimal, and this is a mixed number. So do we make both of them into mixed numbers, or both of them into uh, decimals? Well, how about we do both? Um, this place value right here is the hundredths, so that means I would put 100 on the bottom of the fraction. 75 goes on top. Um, on top of that, 75 one hundredths simplifies down to 3 fourths, so that makes it a little easier. And then if I want to solve this, I just have to make sure that I get common denominators, right? So. Um, this could be multiplied by 5, top and bottom, and this would be multiplied by 4, top and bottom. So 2 minus 1 is 1, and 15 minus 8 is 7. Keep the same denominator. Now, uh, in just a bit, Hopefully I remember at the end of the video, I'm going to rewrite my answer, but because I, I want to show you the decimal version of it over here, um, we should always label our answers. So since this is pounds of nails left over, that's, that's what we need to label it as. Now over here, um, this is a decimal already, so 2.75, and we need to turn this mixed number into a decimal. So 2 divided by 5 is 0.4, so this becomes minus 1.4. And we can stack this up on top of each other and put in a placeholder. And there we have it. It's 1.35 pounds of nails left over. Now, how should we um, take the time to actually show the answer? We would say, what was his name, Gary? Gary has 1 and 7 20th pounds of nails left over after the project. Because it was talking about you know a project and how many pounds of nails does he have left. So we're going to just basically let that problem restate it. And down here it would be the exact same thing if, if we went the decimal route. Instead of saying 1 and 7 twentieths, we'd say 1.35 pounds of nails. Either one of these is correct unless the problem had taken a moment to say, hey, uh, state your answer as a decimal or state your answer as a mixed number. So make sure that you pay attention. If it doesn't give you a choice or there's no multiple choices answers to choose from, it's up to you. Just make sure that you take the time to restate uh, the question properly. Now, the other thing is, is that we're, and, and this is the biggest thing, where you're going to see a lot of different types of numbers in here, decimals and mixed numbers and that sort of thing, you've got to make a choice which way works best for you. And if they don't force you to go a certain direction, choose one of these two choices that works best for you and then just take your time to get there. Um, it'd be a, a bummer 
to go through this whole problem, uh, rush through it to try and get done, and save yourself maybe a minute, and then because you rushed it, that's the problem.